Today's company checked a lot of those boxes that make me want to be a returning customer. They've got great scents that last a long time, amazing feeling beard, their presentation is fantastic, and also the price is right. You're looking at a two ounce oil for $18.95. I said that right, a two ounce oil for $18.95. We are talking Royal Beardsman. Come check these guys out. What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you haven't yet, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel. Today, as I had mentioned, we are talking Royal Beardsman. Royal Beardsman is ran by a couple named Shannon Garrett out of Spring Hill, Florida. They were nice enough to send me this big two ounce bottle of oil, which is how their oils are typically sold. They also sent me, I think, 11 samples, a wash, a co-wash, beard balm, beard butter. Their samples come in this nice little carrying kit here. Very cool. It's simple. It's got the nice logo on the front there. Can hold, I think it can hold 11 or 12. I think it was maxed out at 11, but I could be wrong. Just holds a nice amount of samples here. I'll show you how that looks all filled up when we get done talking about them. I'm also a sucker for stickers. They sent me this nice sticker here. Just, I love their logo. Just super unique, stands out, very cool. Nice keychain here, Royal Beardsman keychain. And I am a big, big fan of the, just a handwritten thank you note. So they just, just get you a little bit of a thank you, just says thank you, Seth. That's all you really need. Makes you feel like they, you know, they know you a little bit, they know you order. They definitely appreciate your order from these guys. They also send you this nice business card here. It's got all their information on there. Front to back, on the back, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, royalbeardsman.com. I will make sure to tag all of that stuff down below in the description so you guys know where to find these guys. Like I said, they sent me, I think, 11 samples. They're washed, they're co-wash, balm, butter, big oil. Let's jump into the oils to kick things off. We have got Dragon Spice Scent. They do sell these samples in individual. Uh, you could buy them individually. You can buy them in a seven pack. I think you can buy them as, as every variety scent that they have. Uh, singles, you are looking at $2.95 for one little sample here. Uh, for the seven pack, you're looking at $17.95. And for the whole variety, you're looking at $24.95. Not a bad price. And you're getting a whole bunch of great scents. I think I get, I think two to three uses out of these. I know I've definitely used majority of them twice. Some of them only once, but they are very unique. They've got just a huge array of different scents. This one is Dragon Spice. The one thing I do like about these uh, samples, they do have the scents on the side here. That's very unique. I love when companies put the scent profiles here on the side. It definitely helps out knowing what you're smelling in the sample. You're not having to go back on the website and look exactly what you got. Dragon Spice is a woodsy blend with fiery scent of cinnamon and a subtle hint of vanilla. Yeah, and the cinnamon on this one just smacks you in the face. Very, very strong in the cinnamon. Almost kind of like uh, if you guys have had a, um, what is that? Fire, fireball, fireball, cinnamon, whiskey. Definitely smells like that. Definitely kind of a fireball scent to it with a nice little bit of a woodsy mix in there. Very, very strong in the cinnamon with dragon spice. But it is a good scent. Very good scent. Definitely unique. That was dragon spice. Next, we have got Crusaders Coast. Crusaders Coast here is a... Uh, heavily blended with pineapple and coconut. Oh yeah, and that's nice. The pineapple smells really, really well. The coconut kind of blends in there with it. I get a little bit of like a sunscreen. Maybe if you're on the ocean, on the beach, and you get a little bit of a sunscreen kind of scent to it. Very nice. Pina colada maybe-ish a little bit. I definitely noticed that with a lot of these scents. They like to use cinnamon, and they also like to use like tropical scents. Of course, they're in Florida. You want to smell like you live in Florida. This is definitely the company to go for. I think they're going to be one of my go-tos in the summertime when the weather is nice and warm and everybody's kind of in that beach mode, getting rid of this winter. 
I am done with winter, that's for sure. Next, we have got Calvary. I'm going to try and go through these samples a little fast because I've got a lot of them. Calvary is a warm vanilla, citrus, cinnamon, several light tones to build complexity with this one. And this one, cinnamon is a lot less. This one does not punch me in the nose with cinnamon. I actually, man, that is a good, good scent. Almost a little bit of a fruity scent. The citrus kind of stands out a little bit more than the cinnamon. I did notice in beard, the cinnamon comes out a little bit, but not enough to make my nose burn where it's like, oh, hey, I can definitely smell the cinnamon. Very, very lighter scent on the cinnamon with this one, which made it a little bit more enjoyable for me. I really liked this scent. I love the citrus. Definitely gets me in summer mode with that one. Next, we have got El Humidor. I think everybody's got a humidor scent right now. Everybody loves the scent of tobacco, bourbon usually. Very good scents. This is a smooth, sweet Cuban cigar blended with hints of honey, black pepper, and vanilla. Yeah, and this one's strong. This one almost has a little bit of a cologne scent to me. But the Cuban cigar smells fantastic. And it smells like a, like a fresh rolled tobacco Cuban cigar scent. Very nice. I really, really like that one. The honey, the honey kind of adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. I really liked El Humidor from these guys at Royal Beardsman. Very nice scent there. Next, we have got Whiskey Glaze. I have Whiskey Glaze in right now. And I can tell you this smells like a glazed donut with this. It's a weird combination. A whiskey, not a whiskey donut, a glazed donut with a glass of whiskey next to you. It's just in your beard. I don't get much of like a, a pastry sweet um Donut smell, but I do get that glaze. You know how if you eat a glazed donut, you can definitely smell the glaze on it. That is what I get out of whiskey glaze. Just a nice scent. Yeah, and the, the, the whiskey definitely stands out quite a bit, um, but the glaze comes in and gives it a little bit of a sweetness to it. Uh, definitely kind of on the boozy end of scents with whiskey glaze. Nice scent there. Next, we have got Sire. Sire, you are looking at a complex scent, a complete essence of high-end cologne. I was butchering that one all over the place. And yeah, this one just smells like a classy cologne, um, date night scent for me, for sure. Just a nice, nice cologne. I don't get, I don't think I'm getting any oud out of it. It's just a nice cologne scent. Very nice. I do like that one. Yeah, that's just, just a straight cologne scent to me. I don't get any oud or anything out of that like we typically see with cologne scents. Just a nice, nice, classy cologne with Sire. Next, we've got my favorite. I actually, the first time I saw this company, I saw this scent name. And I was like, I've got to try this at some point. And luckily, they were able to get it out to me. This is Pinewood Forest. I actually looked this up online. I think this is sold out right now because I wanted to get a big two ounce bottle of this. This is Pinewood Forest. This one here is a strong scent of pine and hints of cedar and oak. And I know exactly what this smells like, because I love this. This smells like you took a pine needle and just combed your beard with it. Just the smell of pine just surrounds your face. This lasted me, I want to say almost maybe 12 to 15 hours. I noticed this the next day. This scent is super strong if you are a fan of pine and woodsy scents and you want one that will last you all day long i highly recommend getting on this when it is back in stock if you want just the sample like i said they sell these for 295 grab the sample of this one i absolutely loved pine wood forest this one did not disappoint me whatsoever next we have got exile exile is a spice citrus infused with natural and earthy cologne blend Yep, and that's just a nice, it's kind of like a musky, more manly cologne scent. Not so much like the clean, refreshing like that last one was. This is more of a musky, kind of manly, manly cologne. Very nice. I really, really like this Exile. Just a nice kind of musky cologne scent here. I really enjoyed this one. That was Exile. Next, we got, oh, I'm going to butcher this one. Tortugo Bay. Tortugo Bay. I'm going to go with that. Anybody out there in Florida, if Tortugo Bay is in Florida, you guys let me know if I said that right. 
This is a bay leaves, rum, spices, cinnamon to develop our own take on a bay rum scent. Oh, and I really like this. I love the way the bay leaf stands out in this one. Just nice. That cinnamon is kind of laid back. It's kind of hidden in the background there. But it is a very nice bay rum scent. I just really, really like the way the bay leaf stands out. Nice tropical summertime scent there with Tortugo Bay. We're going with Tortugo Bay. I really hope I didn't say that terribly wrong. Next, uh, or last of the samples. This one was super unique to me. This is Bonfire Brandy. I really, really enjoyed this scent. I will probably be grabbing this in the two ounce bottle as well. The first time I saw the name of it, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna really like the brandy scent, but as soon as I put it in beer, I was like, wow, this is like something I've never worn before. Very unique. This is a blend. Uh, this blend closely correlates to a burning fire with a small hint of sweet and smooth brandy. Oh, and this is just a nice, it kind of has a little bit of a, I want to say mahogany smell to it. Mahogany is definitely a scent that really stands out to me. And that's definitely what I get out of this, the brandy. And it's got like a smokiness. I get where they're saying the fire smell. I get a little bit of a smokiness here from the sample here. This scent was super unique. This was one that definitely stand, stood out to me out of the samples. This was Bonfire Brandy. I highly recommend this scent. If you're a fan of a little bit of a smokiness, um, not a terrible smokiness, but just unique, the brandy, and I definitely get a mahogany smell out of there. I, I hope I'm not wrong on that, but I definitely get a mahogany scent out of that. I really enjoyed that. And that was it for the samples. Like I said, you could buy the samples for $2.95 each. You also could get the samples as a seven pack for $17.95, or you can get a huge display like this. I hope these don't come falling out of here as I try and show you. These will run you $24.95. Really nice price. I really enjoyed the um, presentation here. Very cool. It comes with a little sticker there to seal it up for you guys. I really, really enjoyed all of these samples from Royal Beardsman. The one sample I left out was this guy, this big mamma jamma they sent me. They sent me everything else in this scent, and this is King's Lagoon. King's Lagoon oil here. I've got the wash, the co-wash the balm and the butter for King's Lagoon. King's Lagoon is a blended with coconut, citrus, and vanilla. And you are getting a big, big oil. Yeah, this is, the coconut definitely stands out in this one. The citrus works well and the vanilla as well. This just reminds me of what I would expect to smell at like a bar on the beach in Florida. Very nice scent. Very, oh, I like this. It's just got a nice kind of a, I always refer to it as like a lotion-y smell. Just smells like you are on the beach, like I said, at a bar, uh, enjoying a couple of drinks. And this is just the smell intoxication you are taking out there in Florida. They're two ounce oils. This is a two ounce, this is a big mamma jamma. This two ounce oil is going to run you $18.95. Not a, really, most oils for a one ounce are probably between 15 and 20 bucks, we'll say typically, but you're getting a two ounce oil for $18.95. Really nice price here. Viscosity wise, you were looking, I felt like this oil was like a medium to me. This is kind of on the medium size, kind of a thicker oil than I was expecting, which I enjoy because I am a big fan of the thicker oils. Ingredients, you are looking at uh, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, grape seed oil, premium essential oils. Just a huge list of great, great ingredients. The one I didn't see was castor oil, so that made me kind of think it was going to be a little bit of a thinner oil, but I was dead wrong. This is kind of on that medium thickness for me, viscosity wise. I really, really enjoyed this one. Like I said, you are looking at 18. 95 for a big two ounce oil. This thing is ginormous. I don't see a whole lot of companies using two ounce oils, so I was glad to see that. The nice thing about those, it takes up a little bit less space on my beard shelf, and I don't have to go and get a new one nearly as soon. Next, we have got his beard butter. His beard butter sells for $22.95 for a big four ounce beard butter. And my, one of the things I really noticed 
Uh, maybe not so much with the wash and the co-wash, but his oil, his balm, his butters, all in the same scent, smell exactly the same, which I am a huge fan of. You guys know I'm a huge fan when somebody's products can smell exactly the same from top to bottom in that line. And this is exactly what you're getting, that, that lotion-y, the coconut, the vanilla. Very nice scent here with King's Lagoon. Butter-wise, very easy to get through. Very easy to emulsify. And she is gone. I might have used too much there. I absolutely love this butter. Very conditioning. It's got a little bit of a light hold to it, but very conditioning for my beard. My beard just swallowed this butter up. I was a huge fan of this butter. Ingredients-wise, you are looking at shea butter, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, grapeseed oil, premium essential oil. So really it's just shea butter added to their uh, blend that they use in their oils. So that makes it super conditioning. My beard just soaks this stuff up from Royal Beardsman in their beard butter. Like I said, you are looking at $22.95 for a four ounce beard butter. We have got his beard balm. I loved, you guys know I'm not a huge beard balm fan, but I really enjoy this. It's super cold here in Iowa. It was, we're talking single digits and lower basically for the next two weeks. And I've been using this beard balm like crazy. It just seems to hold my beard and really protect it during these cold winter weeks. We're getting here right now towards the end of winter. So I really enjoyed wearing this balm. Ingredients wise, you are looking at shea butter, beeswax, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, grapeseed oil, premium essential oil. So Really, it's just that shea butter and that beeswax added to the original blend. So it is a nice conditioning balm, but with that beeswax high in the ingredients list, it does give my beard a very nice hold, which I'm really appreciating during having to wear a mask right now, having to be super cold outside. I feel like my beard is really protected with this beard balm. You are looking at $15.95 for a two ounce beard balm. It's a little bit thicker than that butter there, but still fairly easy to get through and it emulsifies very easily for a beard balm with beeswax as the second ingredient here. Well, we're gonna fight that lid for a second. Yeah, it's just going to emulsify very easily. You can tell it's kind of got a little bit more of a stick to it than that beard butter did, and that's because of that beeswax, but it does go in beard nice, holds those flyaways in, and really protects your beard during the cold winter months if you need that. We also got his co-wash. If you guys are into co-washes and his beard wash, you can get these individually for $17.95 for a wash or a co-wash, or you can get them as a bundle for $29.95. And these are big eight ounce bottles here. Everything seems to be coming in massive sizes with Royal Beardsman. They definitely don't skimp out on the size for the price for you guys. Uh, wash wise, I did notice this. It didn't lather up a whole lot. But I did notice it did have, I would say, maybe a light stripping to it. I could definitely see using this maybe three to four times a week if you needed to. Definitely not one I would use every day, but one you could use probably more than a really stripping wash. This was just fairly light stripping for my beard. Definitely felt like it got the job done here. Like I said, $17.95 for the wash. Co-wash, I really enjoy this. I don't use co-washes too often. This was kind of the first one I came back to after a while of taking co-washes off from my beard. I definitely noticed this definitely softened up my beard. I was putting in the wash, washing that out. I would set this in my beard, let it sit for five minutes, then rinse it out. And my comb was just breezing through my beard as I was getting out of the shower. No knots, no tangles, super soft beard for the rest of the day. Um, some days I was kind of mixing in, you know, I do the wash and the co-wash. Other days were I would sweat, but not too much. I would just do just the co-wash. So just the co-wash, just mix that in. It does a little bit of both. It's a wash, it's a conditioning wash. So you're getting a little bit of that wash. So you definitely don't need to do it every day. Uh, you can stack it up with the other one, but you definitely don't have to do it every day. Like I said, $17.95 for this one as well. Uh, just a rundown on price again. They do sell the individual samples for you guys for $2.95 if you are looking for a beard sample. They do have their whole set up on their website for $24.95 if you want the whole set here. 
They do offer a seven pack, which will run you $17.95. I just, they, the variety with their scents were really, really nice. I enjoyed all of them. Their Beard Balm will run you $15.95 for the Beard Balm. Beard Butter, you are looking at $22.95. Their big, 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 big two ounce Beard Oils will run you $18.95. Just a great steal for a big two ounce oil. And $17.95 for a wash, a co-wash, or $29.95. 95 for the combo just a great price i really appreciate garrett and shan for getting this stuff out to me if you want to go check out royal beardsman i will tag their instagram where to shop down below go check them out let them know what you think of their products as always guys peace out i love you and we'll see you next time